Hey there guys, welcome back to Wasteland Survival. We have a new update today. We have 0.15.5. So, let's get into it. We have something new for you. Hunting, you'll find old Nick at the ranch. He will try to challenge you. Once you finish his first quest, he'll be in the saloon. His quest reset once in three days. The stone plateau has been redesigned. Loading screen was also improved. We've changed the dove coat. From now on, you'll receive news about Spirit Cave, Canyon Trolls, Outlaws, Stopover, and information from the Consortium. The locations description window became more informative. New music for the bandits, stash, and neighbors bases. All open boxes and bags will be displayed in grey on the minimap. Decrease characters' health after death. Uh, decrease range for bows and rifles. I believe this is all fixes and bug, um, bugs. Leather belts and grindstones have been removed. Okay. Existing ones will be replaced by leather and iron bars. We changed the way you get free tubes. Common tube is now available once a day, uncommon once a week. All of them can be obtained by watching ads. Bows crafting was shifted to the carpenter table. Stone hammer crafting was shifted to the stone cutter. Oh, okay, so these are just changes. Okay, so not fix, uh, fixes and improvements, but we've got a minor fix and improvement uh, lot here. Fix a number of resources in boxes, silent refuge, resources and fortress fixed an incorrect pricing oh sorry price of block flint and iron stakes fixed bugs in item sorting fixed an incorrect character animation armed with a coach gun fixed lack of fangs and claws that you could get from bears and wolves and finally fixed an incorrect word of the eye for an eye quest okay so minimal update by the looks of things they've redesigned one of the stone uh one of the uh new uh maps so sorry we are looking at the stone plateau has the redesigned so part of the new zones that have come through now so as i mentioned a little while back um they would be looking at doing this from time to time so it wouldn't be like a full-on update but they did do a massive update when they did the initial redesign but they Looks like they're sort of finishing off and tailoring off some of the um, last couple of zones that we might have. Um, but most importantly, the hunting is a big change. So let's definitely go through and take a look at everything today. Um, I really want to check out the hunting mechanic and also check out the, um, the stone plateau just to check out to see what we've got. And what's been changed and i really want to see this hunting um update this looks really really interesting every three days we get a new quest so we have to go visit him in the town and interesting enough the dove coke had finally been changed over so the consortium will now control all of that which makes sense because she already does um the hidden um, ai bases when you go to pay her when you go if you wish to raid and things like that so there's that as well, um, but okay, so the dove coat is still there, note from the trader, interesting, I think it's just, um, just trader abilities, maybe, okay, Ooh, that's a bit of lag there, but how are we doing anyway guys, it's been a while since I've been in Westland, so I do apologise, but now that we're back, we can actually go back into looking at the updates, seeing what this one is all about, but also um, just having a good old time as usual. So I have been playing a lot of other games as well, and now that I've finally got a bit of time, and funny enough that an update did drop, I kind of, you know, obviously hit the button there to kind of play, and we can, you know, have a bit of a adventure today. Um, did I get? I think I got the pants and I got the. Oh, no, it wasn't pants. What did I get? Shirt and shoes. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, I need to find pants and a top uh, hat. So let's have a look. I might just take you. Why not? And. It might 
might not be much but I'll go ahead and take that with me and let's go ahead and equip that so yeah it's been a little while I have been focusing on other games I'm not gonna lie to you guys um, but you know it's always good to come back from time to time and see what's going on and granted there hadn't been an update for a little bit now so I wanted to quickly focus on a few other things just to sort of you know break it up get a little bit of diversity on the channel of course so if you guys want to check some of my other videos out please have a look there is a cross between um, a PC game seven days to die a, diff a little bit of a different challenge that I've been trying to sort of work out as well so if you guys want to have a look at it please take a look see what you think let me know what you think and aside from that I'm looking into a different game different genre of game something that I haven't been uh, well, something that I'm not used to in doing, to be honest with you. So, if you want to go ahead and check that out, the game is Anima, ARPG. So, I am sort of looking at broadening the horizon there. And purely just, I just want to see how I do with a different style of game. So, I figured why not? And see how we sort of take it from there. And if there's anything, you know, that m may happen, why not? Um, if you guys do enjoy it, let me know in the comments because I really love and value all of your feedback, of course. So, uh, let me know what you think about that. Anyway, let's go see Old Nick. Okay, so bet wounded deer, get a reinforced bow, hunt down the wounded deer. Back to Old Nick in the saloon. So, I need a reinforced bow. So I might actually have a reinforced bow to begin with. So what we could do is see what I have here. What is that longbow? Composite bow. Um, that looks like another longbow. Composite bow, sorry. And composite bow. Okay, so what does it take for us to craft up a reinforced bow? Short bow. Find one, reinforced bow, okay. And let's go ahead and craft one of these guys. So these will, this will take about a couple of minutes. Now I haven't done anything to my base. I did mention a little while back that I wanted to do a bit of a redesign that was sort of working out something. I haven't got around to it. My bad. But I will eventually get to it. Oh, old Nick's gone. Um, but definitely we'll do a bit of a redesign so I get to show you guys what I'm sort of wanting to update my base look and feel because to me I, I still feel like everything is all over the place not something that I really particularly want uh, for my base I really do like a neat and tidy base if you guys have been watching me for um, you know for a little while now and on other different games you'll know that I do enjoy uh, my base to be in a good looking form but anyway let's uh, find our reinforced bow it shouldn't be too far away I think it's now at the carpenter's bench now so let's have a bit of a peek so into the last minute it won't take that long I've got a few things that we, we should be right with so for now let's just do that and do that and we're just gonna have to find ourselves a deer and once we found our deer there, we should be able to continue on with the quest line itself. So a few little additions that they mentioned that they've changed. Um, at the moment, let's have a quick peek while we're sort of in the menu here, just quickly waiting. I'm just going through the notes that I've got on my other screen here. And it, all the bows, stone hammer. So if we look at the, the stone cutter table as well, so let's have a look and you've got the stone hammer here not particularly a weapon that a lot of people will be choosing to use um, but I think that might be something that you guys might be interested in now grindstones had been removed um, I need to find where all of my grindstone and leather was so that should be replaced with iron apparently which was the that could have been where, some, where I may have had some of my grindstone here potentially I, don't, I doubt that it'll be in our inbox here. I, I did recall that I had some grindstone in here. 
So that's something that I'd be interested in looking at. If there's been any changes here, and a leather was changed as well, um, from what the notes had indicated. But I'm not too sure what type of leather, because all that it said was just leather, leather belts. Sorry, leather belts had been changed. So if we go over to here. Yeah, there used to be um, the coil looking leather belt there, so that was removed. Don't know particularly what was the replacement, uh, just standard leather, so it was. Um, so that's just normal thin leather. If we go into here, I might have some normal leather now, which I probably got here, which could have been from, yeah, it could have been from the leather belts there. So, not too sure why they wanted to change that, uh, to be honest with you. And removing an element such as grindstone now look, that, that could be anything to be honest with you whether or not they're gearing up for tier 5 um, are they using are they possibly using those elements for different type of usage I have absolutely no idea but that's just something that we can um, that we can sort of theorize uh, for now until we potentially may get an update and that set update may give us, you know, something different to look at. Who knows? Um, tier five may be a little bit different to what we previously had um, in the past with um, different resource updates. Who knows? But at least the developers were good about things with the, um, with the bounty. Uh, sorry, with the hunting here, giving us a little bit of a bullseye here, telling us where we should be going. So at least this way we can move on over quickly and complete the quest now the stone plateau we're going to go there next right after this we'll have a bit of a peek see what's up and hopefully um, we'll get to see a neat redesigned zone anyway as soon as I saw this update which was pretty much early this morning when I woke up my time um, been hanging out to come back home and pretty much record this so yeah excitement levels as always is always on the high side that's a hair oh question mark question mark what is this oh okay right so you're physically tracking you're a tracker that is so cool so this brings in a brand new mechanic and dimension to the whole tracking of um, well, anything really. Okay, and here's the, here's our next clue. I think I need to go southwest. Okay, so I'm guessing this is southwest. Maybe. Well, we're just gonna quickly run around here just to see what's up. So west should be this way, or. The other way, actually, it should be the other way. Oh, uh, here we go. Wounded deer. So I need to take him down. And I need to go back and find him. So whether or not this puts us into a position where we have to. Okay. So it's going to make us run around the whole zone. It'll automatically disappear by the looks of things. And we will just have to follow the trail and eventually we should find the deer again as you can see okay I sort of missed my chance there so you have to be careful and make sure that you don't get too close and at least this way you sh uh, northeast okay and hopefully you don't spook him for him to run away and at and this way you should be able to get claim your kill once we find and this once we find the said deer now this is going to be the other problem here because you're not going to be able to oh okay really okay now, what I was going to say this was going to be the other problem here the moment that you get all these animals are in amongst the deer there it's going to be hard for you to take them out and you're going to have to try and 
pretty much either kill everything that's around you and then go for the kill and hopefully he doesn't run away or get too close to you or anything like that so looks like this is a fun little event so I'm guessing we're gonna have to go out and hunt other animals it probably be maybe boars it might be wolves it could be bears it could be something it could be anything really so northwest could not got far okay so we're gonna have to go back the other way so this is pretty neat I actually really like this um, this new mechanic that they've added in and this could really be this could really be hopefully expanded to a, another level whether they could implement this in some sort of bounty where you have to go and track your bounty so if you find a radar or anything like that um, that's something that, that could happen who knows um, but I kind of like uh, what they've done here uh, not bad at all so southeast okay so it looks like we're gonna go down this way and there you are okay I'm gonna have to get around the other side here should be the final kill there we go and let's just take I'm just wondering if there was anything different that these um, these animals would drop but doesn't seem to be the case so that's fine so what we'll do is we're pretty much close to here let's just run over anyway and we'll finish off the quest so moving forward we're gonna have to find old Nick here inside the town once we find him he'll update on our quest we'll get the reward and that's pretty much job done and we'll have to wait it out for another three days until we can do a, another video potentially and also another bounty for hunting. Anyway, um, let's find our mate Nick. Looks like he's in the sheriff office. Okay. An eye. Oh, okay. An eye for an eye. That's another quest that I can do for him. Well, that's for someone else actually. The Grinch is still in the uh, prison cell. That's hilarious. I really want to find where old Nick might be, so he might be in the saloon. So let's go ahead and find old mate Nick there. Just seeing if there's anything that really sort of points out that it could be him potentially. But I'm thinking it has to be here. Yeah, he's in the saloon. Okay. So if I can get my way through, consorting is there. Alright, Nick. Let's complete that quest everything done and I think I'll have to go right back up the top here for this one usually the inventory always gets reset and goes back to the top but I don't, don't know why that didn't happen doesn't matter so yeah we've got a few of the bits and pieces here that we got from the quest there fantastic it's all completed and oh okay we can do the coyote so get an iron spear now. Let's say okay. And hunt down a wounded coyote. See old Nick at the saloon. Consortium. We will leave that alone. Let's head out. I don't know, I've never noticed this before, but he, he's got spotted like um like spotted paint like a cow. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's move on. So you guys will get the general idea now. So once we get a bounty to hunt, we just go out and hunt. Pretty much like a bounty when we go and find a, a bad guy or anything like that that we have done, you know, in the past. Oop. So let's ride over. Really want to check out this plateau here. Let's swap weapons around. Actually, I might just eat that, why not? And see what we have at the Stone Plateau. So really interested to see what has been changed and how it's been changed, but we shall find out very, very soon. I was gonna say loading the clock was taking extremely long. Now that it's done, we're finally in. And as we can see, looks pretty cool. 
not going to lie, it doesn't look too bad. So pretty much like all the other zones, they've got the same theme, same type of um, element here, just in a stone sort of fashion, I guess. It doesn't actually look too bad. I'm just going to grab some cactus fruit. We've got the goons, okay, goons, thugs, shooter. Coyote, my bad. So let's just take all and let's see what we have in the chest over here. Alright, some herbs. I'll leave those behind. You guys look pretty tame. You're cool. And let's grab the crack cactus fruit. That's been opened. We can move on. So they did mention once you've opened up a chest or a loot bag, whatever it might be, it'll go grey to signify that we have actually looted um, that said chest or loot bag, whatever it might be of course. So let's go and demonstrate that now. So as soon as we open this up here, this should tell us that we, well once we've opened it up and left, so let's just let's go take all and go away, it is now grey. So it was coloured before, now it's greyed out. So that's cool. But I do like the little little gorge, little canyon here that we've got. That looks really, really good. Okay, we've got a bonfire here. Let's just take these guys out. Oh, okay. I helped a fella and he ran away. That is so cool. All right. I wasn't actually really um, paying attention to that. Oh, that's nearly leaving the zone there. And this is just the corner here. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. New stone plateau. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, who have we got chasing me? Goodbye, Coyote. Let's leave. We'll head back. And for us, the next thing that we'll need to do if we want to pursue the next quest for the wounded Coyote is we need to create ourselves a iron uh, bow. So if we can find it, well, we can always go to the carpenter's box, uh, sorry, carpenter's workstation really, and we should be able to see what is the requirement to make an iron bow. Not too sure, I don't think I had any to be honest, I think I only had the long bows, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll go ahead and double check, see what's what, and then we'll sort of take it from there. So, it did say iron bow, didn't it? I'm pretty sure it did say iron bow. It didn't say long bow. If we go into get an oh, iron spear, my mistake. I should have definitely an iron spear somewhere. So if I find it real quick, we'll definitely head out and see what's what. That's my iron spear. Quick. Now, does that contribute to the quest, or do I have to craft it? Interesting. Interesting. It doesn't really tell me anything. I may have to craft it. I have no idea. I'm just going to take that with me anyway. Uh, I'm just checking my inventory boxes here to see if I do have another iron spear, which I don't think I do. Whether they require it to be full quality, I have no clue. That's a bone spear. So that's a full quality iron spear. So let's go back and pop that on. Will it change? Hmm. Um, I think I need to go to the furnace, if I'm not mistaken, to create one of these bad boys, if that's the case. So it looks like it's making you, by the looks of things, that you need to craft it up. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and finish it. And I just want to see what this does. Let's go equip. Does that change? Okay, well it does. So there you have it. You do need to craft these weapons before you go on your hunt so very important 
So the coyote will be over here. So we should be able to run over here real quick and take out the coyote. So this will probably be the last one, of course. And once we've done that, we'll probably call it a video. But I think this has probably covered it quite comprehensively. Let me know in the comments if I missed anything. Um, like I said, well, this is the first time I'm checking out the new content as it is, as you've seen it at the beginning of the video. So, yeah, this is all the news to me. So here we go. It's in the west for sure, so we're going to go straight down west as best as we can. Find ourselves. Go away. Okay. So obviously you're going to be... Okay, Prince lead east, we're going back and forth. Um, so yeah, you're going to come through and you, you will have to fight some um, some enemies here or there. It is what it is, but by the looks of things, it's like you do this at least two to three times. And hopefully we will strike luck. Not too sure how this is going to play out. I might have to do a bit of crouching. And hopefully, ah, oh, here we go. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I'm going to have to keep going. Okay, so southeast. Okay, and we've got these mature abrimas. See if I can, oh, no, won't be able to do that, unfortunately. Oh, there you are. Okay, I see you now. So I'm going to have to sort of do a sneak attack on this fella here if I can get my my player to cooperate. Oh no. See, this is this is going to be the harder thing here. We're going to have to be careful and we might have to attract some of these guys to come out out of their hiding. Get their attention a little bit and then this way we should be able to have easy reins just to um, take out the injured coyote in this case. So you can see the little arrow there, he's way behind him. So that was good. So once we see him again, I'll show you exactly what I meant by that. So above the little the bullseye, there was a little um, arrow and he was pointing in the opposite direction to me. So I guess that's a good indicator for us to sort of use if we want to sort of try and track him down or, or not track him down I should say rather but see what direction that, that he is um, facing and this way we can sort of determine which way that we need to be facing so we can essentially sneak up on him and um, have a bit of a stab at him in this case of course. Alright so it did say southwest too sure how southwest this is. I think I'm in no man's land here at the moment, to be honest with you guys. So I guess this is something that we sort of have to work out for ourselves. Over time, we'll get used to in uh, working out, you know, your north, south, east, westly sort of coordination here. So let's just come back to where we were here. It was southeast, so I'm guessing he's going to be somewhere around here. Alright, we're going to have to take this fella out here. And... Northwest. So, he's going to be up here for sure, somewhere, hopefully. And as soon as we find him, we can have a bit of a pokey at him. I'm watching my minimap as I'm running around, and I'm not paying attention to where what my player is actually running into, so... Just so you guys are aware of what I'm doing. Oh, of course you are. Protected by um, your friends and pals and whatnot. Of course. Of course you are. Of course an NPC has to come in and yeah, you go away, Mr. NPC. What I might need to do is real quick, I might just switch over to this. So I've got a bit of firepower here happening. Of course. Of course. You had to. Oh. Anyway. 
this is what it's going to be like in order for us to, you know, take out this coyote. So this is the type of challenges. It's not pretty. It's not straightforward. And I guess that's. Um, I guess that's obviously apparent by watching this video here. So hopefully this has given you some greater insights for those that haven't actually watched this um, or played the new update uh, just yet. So um, use this as a really good top a guide. Um, at least this way you guys can have a better indication on how to um, attack this. Um, I didn't actually read that. So let's go back and read it. Okay, beast ran east, so we're coming back the way we came. Um, ooh. And we've got a woodsman here, okay. Alright. Hey buddy, pokey pokey, stabby stabby. Did you give me something nice? You did not, okay. Alright, let's go and find this. There you are, alright. So you're pointing in that direction. I need to lure you away, take you out, and walk around this way, and I can do multiple hits, which is good. Okay, so that's that's one thing I wanted to know, um, if I could do that, yes or no. Now that I know it, then I can. That's good. Okay, let's um, equip this, heal up real quick. Let's go and find the next question mark and hopefully we can finish this off for today so as we sort of cruise along it doesn't appear that they'll go into any sort of cave or anything like that so at least this way you don't have to worry about it it's more or less just following through and just running about just to see where this ah here we go so this should be the final kill Stabby stabby. Awesome. And unfortunately you didn't drop anything, which is a shame, but it is what it is. So let's get out of here. And um, we'll head back over to our mate old Nick. Okay, there you are. I'm just going to, to be honest, I'm going to run out of steam. And I may as well just spend the coin and run across. So let me know what you thought about this, guys. What do you think of the update? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What don't you like about it? What do you like it? I uh, like about it. Sorry. Let me know in the comments. Be interested to know and hear your thoughts, as always, about these updates that have come through. I think the developers always put out really good updates. This one took a little bit longer than the previous updates and I'm only guessing for due to what's going on around the world. So um, with that being said, I hope you guys are doing okay out there. If you guys are isolating yourselves, if you guys are working, um, if you guys are working from home, let me know how you guys are holding up. I'll be interested to hear what you guys are doing. For me, I'm still going to work. My work is class is essential, so still going in and still doing what I need to do so um, you know it might come to a point where I may have to start working from home that might be the thing but for now um, we would have to leave it as it is um, okay so I thought it was every three days that this this quest reset but it looks like I'm doing them one after the other okay I guess if I log out that might be the case but at least you guys have got a bit of an idea on how this works anyway um, but yeah, for me, I'm still going to work, still doing everything in between. Um, there's player there, let's just go ahead and wave. Oh, no, that's the wrong gesture, I'm sorry. Wave, wave, wave. Let's see if he waves back to me. Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, anyway, thought I'd just give you a quick update on what I'm doing with what's happening around the world. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one today. Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment down below. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon if you haven't done so already. If you guys want to see more videos. Anyway, take it easy. Catch you next time.